I was told by marketing to try to keep it light, crack a few jokes maybe. I'm really tempted to just tell space jokes for four minutes, but I think that might be kind of unprofessional. I'm gonna tell one. I'm gonna tell one space joke. Okay. <clears throat> Why did no one like the Lunar Restaurant? Because it had no atmosphere, which is actually not true. The moon does have an atmosphere. It's just really, it's really, really thin, but we sacrifice science for the sake of humor. Hi, my name is Becky Chambers, and I am the author of The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet is a book. The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, Pla I can't say the title of my own book. The Long Way to a Science. The Long, <sighs> oh. <laughs> uh, it's, <clears throat> I grew up with space operas. Um, I also grew up in a very spacey family, which is to say they, they, they worked in aerospace and science education, not that they were scatterbrained. I mean, that too. That too, obviously. Space is part of who I am. It's where I come from. Uh, it's what's important to me. The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet focuses on the crew of a wormhole construction ship going from one end of the galaxy to the other. These people are not heroes. I like heroes. I like stories with heroes a lot. What I've always been interested in are the people in the background. The people you see walking through the spaceport. The people you see occupying the space behind our heroes. I want to know what life is like for people living within a multi-species intergalactic future. Those are the worlds I've always loved and always seen myself in. So what I wanted to do with this book is write a story where space is for everyone. Not just for the people with the fast ships or the big guns, it's it's for you and me too. So the Wayfarer. The Wayfarer is a multi-species ship. It's got nine crew members. Uh, the story is told from each of their points of view. You have Ashby Santoso, the human captain born and raised in space. Sissix, his best friend, the pilot. She's got scales and feathers and she's really, really cool. Rosemary, the brand new clerk, fresh from Mars. And has a few secrets. Kizzy and Jenks are technicians. They do... <clears throat> I shouldn't... That means something different in the UK than I intended. Kizzy and Jenks are technicians. Um, really good at their jobs. Probably not the people you want to bring to a business meeting. Corbin, the algaeist. Algae fuel is what powers the galaxy. He makes it. That's about all he's good at. People are just really, really not his thing. Ohan, the navigator, a plural entity. Ooh, very science fiction-y. Lovelace, the ship's AI, not technically considered part of the crew if you're in the mainstream galaxy at large, but she's part of the crew. And of course, Dr. Chef, whose name pretty much explains it all. The Wayfarer's journey takes them to every corner of the galaxy. We see bustling planets, we see seedy spaceports, we have unexpected rendezvous out in the middle of nowhere, uncharted territories, war zones, friends' living rooms, and childhood homes, and the comfort of being with friends and the people you care about. I funded my writing time for this book via Kickstarter in 2013. Is that right? I think it's 13. I have no idea what year it is, apparently. Hang on, hang on. When, when, when did this happen? 2012! 2012. God, I've been doing this for so long. My book had the great honor of being the first self-published novel to be nominated for the Kitschy Awards for Best Debut, so, um, that was pretty cool. And now it's found a new home with Hotter and will be hitting bookshelves in the UK this August. It's my hope that this is a book that will make you feel good and will give you hope about where you are and where we're headed. And that maybe it'll make you look up every so often and think about what might be out there.